Well, that was nice. And now, see, what I was just talking about. My parents paid me some compliments, and I, I can sit here and testify to the fact that it felt good. Compliments feel good. That was another topic we did. So anyway, let's get into this. Let's get into the topic, because this is a good one coming up here. And we're going to get started. I'm going to start. Jumpstart my heart. Hi, this is Seth David with Daily Motivator, number 148, brought to you by www.youramiracle.com. That's Y-O-U-R-E-A, miracle.com. You're a miracle. You can accomplish anything you want to. And that actually, that phrase, I think I was saying it yesterday at Daily Motivator, and uh, it gave rise to something that it just kind of hit me. The inspiration struck. But there's a principle by which I've lived for a long, long time, and I've never really articulated it. And it's based on a, uh, an expression that I've heard since I was a little kid. Never really stopped to think much about the deeper meaning of the phrase, but just thought, okay, you know, you'd hear it say, okay, it makes sense. But never really thought about what it really means. And the expression I'm talking about is the expression that says, if there's a will, there's a way. Right? It sounds simple enough, but really when you think about it, you really live by it and what does it mean to actually put that kind of a concept into practice in your daily life that's the question i think that we often overlook we hear these things and they sound good and they make sense and we agree with them but what's missing is the application putting these things into practice practice is defined as to do something over and over and over again i've looked i've literally looked the word up in the dictionary so if I want to put these things into practice, it means I want to do them over and over and over again. So how do I practice a concept like if there's a will, there's a way? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of another way of saying it, and there's many different ways that you can expand upon a phrase like this. But the way it works for me in practice is I'll give you an example. Yesterday I was working on something. I was working on a spreadsheet for a client, a cash flow projection, and I was having to break it up in such a way that I wasn't sure if it was going to be possible to get everything to balance because of the way I had to break up this company's balance sheet. And I did it as a, as a test on just the whole balance sheet, but now I had to break it out monthly. And you know what I want to get at, the point I want to get at is I was not able to get it to balance. And I was at the point where I was about to give up. I was about to say, you know what, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it can be done. And I walked away, and sometimes that's the best thing to do when you get stuck, when you're trying to figure something out and you just can't get the answer. The best thing to do in those cases is to walk away, get your mind off of it. And this is, you know, there's another example of what I'm talking about. Get your mind off the problem for a little while so you can clear your head. Then you can go back and revisit the problem, and invariably you almost always find the solution immediately. And so what happened here was just that. I went back to it, and I just stopped and went at it a different way because I took the attitude, instead of giving up, I took the attitude of saying, you know what, there's got to be a way to do this. And I know there's a way to do this. I just have to find it, and I just have to figure it out. In other words, if there's a will to do it, if there's a will to get it done, then I'm going to find it, and I have to, and I will find it, and I will get it done. That's what it means to say if there's a will, there's a way. It means there's always a way. Anything I want to accomplish, there's a way to accomplish it. It's just a matter of figuring out exactly how. And sometimes that means stopping, pulling it apart, dismantling it, reconstructing it, approaching it differently, and then eventually you'll always come up with the solution. You're a miracle. Get excited about today.